right, um, thought I'd cut open these dryers I took off the other day, and some other ones from a while ago, to see what blocks up in them. Um, let's see, this is the, um, well, let's start with this one, this is a good one, I just changed anyway. What the core looks like. It's quite um, light sandy colour. Um, that's the inlet there, that's the outlet. And on the outlet you've got a little felt pad. That looks quite dirty. Um, and then you've got this little um, steel mesh. You can see that's quite flat. So, I mean, if you didn't know, you'd say that was quite bad, but this one was fine. Uh, this is the um, blocked up one from the other day with the flare fittings on it. And that's quite low. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but this is quite a bit darker all over. There's some other dirt on the side there, I don't know whether that's oil soaked or um, what it is, that goes in there. That's a little felt pad on this one. The other side's quite clean. Oh, this one's dirty on both sides. But, but what it has done is where it's blocked up, if you compare the two, Where the pressure's been behind it as the refrigerant's been trying to get through here, it's pushed the um, mesh right tight up against the little tube where that, that goes through. So effectively, once that's pushed onto there, you, the only bit of this pad that can pass any refrigerant is a tiny little bit in the centre. So uh, it'd be sort of halfway blocked up, I expect, and then once that's bent inwards so that will uh, finish it off completely. Um, that's those two. This one's off of that big um, six and a half horsepower press gold that I changed the other day that wasn't pumping and didn't sound too happy. Um, it's very oily and dirty looking. Um, and that felt pad, I mean that is it's just like uh, grease, it's like aluminium grease on there which must be all the, what's come out of the rods and they've worn away. Again the other side's pretty bad. But it's done the same with the uh, with the um, drawers, just pushed it in. Something I did notice with these ones is when they have pushed them in, they actually rattled because the, uh, the dryer core could, could move about and around inside the shell. The other end of that, that's the, uh, the inlet end, has a um, like a little steel spring that goes on, it sits in there like that. It just pushes on the core just to keep it. Um, Tensioned against the uh, little filter. That's those three. And this one is a different make. It's a uh, KMP or it might be Parker. And they're these little beads which fit everywhere. And that's just got like a piece of fiberglass. This one was blocked up as well, that's why I changed it. And it's got um, fiberglass matting in there. This is very dusty looking and uh, that's just from the grinder. I can see the dust is coming out of that. Now whether that is dust off of these little beads, I don't know. Um, that gauze um, 
filter seems okay. So this, this one wasn't as badly blocked as the other two, so... So Curiosity's got the better of me and I've tipped all the little beads out of this one. Um, it only looks like it was ever half pulled up anyway, and then you've got a spring. And uh, that little bit went on the top with a little um, felt ring around it. Just to keep all the beads packed in there tightly, but you can see from the marks in there where the uh, spring came to is about here. So, unlike the old smaller ones where you've got a nice big block in there, these seem to be only up to about there. And yet they're both 163 or 16 is the cubic inch capacity of the dryer and the three is how many eighths of an inch it is, so three eighths is three, one six four is half inch, that's four eighths, uh, three oh nine, that's inch and eighths. Eight eighths is an inch obviously, so nine eighths is inch and an eighth. I might cut that one open while I'm I think this is out of the same one as that um, really greasy one, so that might be interesting to see what rubbish has made its way around the um, other side of the system. Well, that looks um, it's just a hollow shell with the same sort of string at the end of a little metal disc. I think, yeah it does. It's got like a little recess in the end. So that's a sit in. And that goes on there like that, just pushes that along. Same sort of uh, um, felt seal at the end. So it's pretty similar construction to the uh, liquid line one really. I think the black bits are charcoal because it's a burnout dryer. I think that's what they put in them to make it um, uh, burnout dryer. Activated charcoal I think helps to absorb all the acids. And then this end it's just a much finer, looks like brass mesh with a, a wire mesh on there, so it's obviously going to catch smaller bits, but you've not got the felt pads like the other one, so it probably flows better 